is what we're talking about. We're in teams. Okay. Now, what I can do is I can have a project channel within a department or a program within teams, and then I can choose my project uh, management execution method. So in this case, I'm looking at a project for the web project. And that project for the web project is in the new style that Leandro was talking about, where it's super easy to use. It has the Kanban board. It has the timeline. Um, it has, I'm gonna zoom out of that a little bit so you can kind of see that better. It has the ability to create task interactions right from the timeline. So um, if I want dependencies, I can just map them right here. And then if, if something them. goes long, you know, my whole project's gonna push out. So those of you that are using Excel, um, this is better because it's it's super simple to use, but it also has a scheduling engine component built into it. You have your charts, which is for simple reporting. And then you've got a people view where you can easily reassign things to others and see what the workload is looking like on that project. Um, <laughs> if I wanna use project on, uh, on the desktop, I can do that too as a scheduling option. So here I have a scheduling, um, a schedule built in project for the desktop and I'm using the project online service to synchronize that to the cloud, but I'm just pulling it up right in Teams here. Um, and then I've got a project report and we're gonna talk about reporting a little bit later. That project report is an automated status report. And yeah, well, regardless of if I'm using either schedule I'm still able to get the exact same report from both of these projects. So two different scheduling types, two different scheduling options, same report. And then I'm also able to see them consolidated within the overall portfolio dashboard report, regardless of execution style. Mm -hmm.